Oh, what's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play is the United States of America. And in this episode, uh, the Austrians have wandered just too close to our forces sieging Milan and they are going to be intercepted. So the garrison's pretty weak. Um, it's the reinforcements we need to, we need to uh, kind of worry about um, from the garrison. But the all of these mortars are not going to be brought to battle because they are fixed and cannot enter the map. So we should be okay. Let's get set up and ready to fight. Uh, so really, of the, of the reinforcements, it's the uh, the artillery batteries that they can bring to bear that could cause us some casualties later on. But our, at that point, we can probably uh, limber up our guns and reorientate them to start doing counter-battery fire while the rest of their army comes in. And then the rest of their army can be annihilated by our army. We also have reinforcements coming in, but I don't really want to use them. Uh, I want them to stay in Turin and try and replenish as soon as possible and potentially looking at attacking Genoa. But we have to work out what the strategic situation is before we work out if that's a good idea or not. Right. Uh, not fighting over the town. So strictly speaking, the enemy should come in from over here somewhere. So in which case, I'm going to go over... I mean, the terrain just a lot better over here. It's a really nice bit of high ground here. I might actually just... So normally I, I kind of just fight um, down wherever the deployment zone is, but this is really pretty. Especially considering they should come in from the right. So let's... Okay, let's get the rest. All of our 225 strong line infantry, they're going to storm up ready to take the position. My elites and my lights are actually going to follow up um, in slower time to make sure any dragoons we've got are fireable off. My cavalry are going to push up. Okay, so. Actually, are they coming in from this way? More like. So, there is a risk here in having, keeping, having my guns unlimbered but we can afford to take that chance yeah they're actually coming in yeah that's actually we're actually this is almost the worst place to put them in get my elites and these chaps up um, get my skirmish cavalry up rapidly I might keep my light cavalry on the right flank general in the center yeah, I'm not a massive fan of pausing time and then issuing all your orders. It seems a bit cheaty. I mean, if you do it, fair play. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna um, criticize. The cavalry is moving up, so their artillery might be able to engage ours on the march. Actually, my cavalry might go aggressive from day one to try to take advantage of this gap in there but they've only only got cavalry to stop us so we might be able to knock out some of their artillery really quite quickly so my dragoons move forward give them a volley too bad Probably don't. What are you? Jaeger. Push my light cavalry up. Strictly speaking, I mean, these are only provincial cavs. So we don't really need Curassier to go after the guns, but. Because okay, the warband are right here exposing themselves. We're going to charge the warband in. Carabiner on the right flank. Okay, let's. Pivot my line slightly. They're opening up on us, so there we go. Let's just make sure nothing funny is going on. Cool. You men, knock out the provincial cav, Curassier, them. I mean them. Oh, thank you for limbering up. So when these guys die, reinforcements are going to come in, and we need to get out of dodge quickly. Okay, cavalry, get back. 
Grenadier, okay, right. Grenadiers, four map. Skirmishers, four map against the edge of the map. You guys may actually come all the way back. Howitzer is a howitzers and limber. Okay, there we go. They're all retreating. We don't mind them. So this is the um, the garrison from the city coming in. We don't mind them um, retreating because they're all trapped anyway. So let's try and support our cavalry contingent here. The provincial horse has been engaged by my dragoons. My other provincial horse has been engaged by my cuirassier. My howitzer may end up being a shade too close. Okay, this gun team and limber. Push forward. Not ideal. If I get my skirmishes over for this fight, that would really help. They're probably going to shoot my gun teams. So really, we need to kill this infantry, this cavalry unit here. Bring my general back. Ah, oh, you're in a really bad position. You guys get up at the top of the hill. Okay, there we go. They're starting to get into a position now. Engage our troops. Excellent. Withdraw. All my cavalry withdraw. We want them, their infantry to march up to our gun lines. Maybe you have to limber up. It's a really bad position. This is a terrible artillery position in here. My, my usual excuse is it's the first game. The first game of the session. My tactics are usually pretty out the window there. How it's engaged that unit of line infantry. Curassier have to run at an angle to open up these Curassier to fire from my infantry units without allow without causing so many friendly casualties. Probably can guard get in. They're broken. Pumpkin guard get back into the line. Cavalry get back. Dragoons plus my light cavalry get over here. And now actually you, you can get a gun team. Face your direction. Guys get up here to top of this high ground. Ooh. Oh, it says a limber. I mean, these are only going to be militia coming in, so if they want to try, they are welcome. And my dragoons go first. Okay, give them a volley. Charge my African infantry guards into the position. Alright. Don't stand here. Get into the fight. These guys are engaging the militia. Make sure my howitzers are engaging this right flank because this is the more vulnerable flank. Well, it was. You men charge the warband. These skirmishers can. Alright. You guys get involved in this combat here. the warband, light cavalry, come over here, try to take the general. One. Melee, engage the militia. The rest of my line should be doing just fine. I mean, they are charging us, but that should be fine. The enemy general is dead. Few men push up to engage them. Where's my heavy cavalry? Ok, 
Okay, you men form up. Continue shooting again. The skirmishers advance up on the left. Guns. Mostly fall back to the guns. See, this short, short range should be canister shot. Ah, oh, I think my Dragoon shot my. Oh, they probably had something to do with it as well. Here's the Caravina. Part of, the, yeah, part of what, what can make. Um, Part of what can make units like Dragoons, yeah, they require a lot of concentration. Where's my heavies? My Dragoons have got a volley into their carabiner. Okay, let's make you guys cease fire. You might actually be able to win this because they were wavering. Guns are up. Excellent. You guys spread out. They're mounting on the flank. Then my heavy cavalry out to back them up. These guns are limber. How it says. to break each other in this engagement that's okay we're bringing another general in don't really need it but we're not gonna they're not going to fall back okay now it's a case of rolling up the flank engage the Jaeger now my howitzer start to shoot at the left flank because that's where the bulk of the remaining enemy units are Excellent. Okay, let's advance down the hill towards the enemy. Bearing in mind that any of these units can come back, so we need to deploy such that we don't leave ourselves open to getting outflanked. Okay, gunners. Engage them on a unit with shrapnel shot. These units also fire shrapnel shot. Shattered, shattered, broken. Keep engaging the Lemberg militia. Okay, now these line infantry units and militia are still on the field. Quickly, some of our line can advance slowly. Okay, guns up on the hill. Switch to round shot, or bombard that square position. Okay, this gun team. Go here. Yeah, you're not, you're not going to get shot at by artillery from there. Allied regiments of horse are advancing, so we could give quite a good chase. Um, but I don't think we don't, don't necessarily have to worry about doing that against the Austrians in this front, on this front. Okay, give me how it's just to focus fire on the 103rd, because right now they are only. Let's pull my light infantry back. No, let's. Light infantry behaviour is good, but they, they end just to keep shooting and shooting and shooting after the enemy unit has broken and retreated out of range. Kind of not ideal. Let's give my, these cuirassiers in order to attack the 87th. 
The artillery barrage has just come in. Ceasefire. They're not in formation. My cavalry are very tired. Still got a good charge off. Their numbers are falling quickly. Ah, they recovered. Not unsurprising. Gunners, re-engage. Howitzers, engage. With round shot if you need to. They're the only unit left on the field. Bouncing shot. It missed. More artillery fire coming in. Fired a parting volley at my cavalry. Now they're continuing the advance. They want to chase us. Oh, fourth light foot. Got a surprise for you. Keep you going. Yeah, they are. They are very much just. They are focusing on my cavalry. Got another Yossier shot from the saddle there. Yeah, I'm concerned because of the army's losses. What army, buddy? Ooh, yeah, that's very messy from my end, but it's early in the morning and it's my first battle. <laughs> Those are my excuses and I'm sticking to them. Right, more coffee. Right. So the main objective was to repulse that army without without needing to call in all my reinforcements. I mean, they came in, but they weren't actually used. Yes, that's right, Poland. So the armies that take Warsaw and Lviv, they are going to garrison those cities and fortify them to act as a bulwark against um, Russian aggression or Prussian aggression, aggression should it come. Yeah, the Prussian Navy is strong. The Prussian Army is capable as well. I think we should we should start to knock out some of the uh, territories like the Knights of St. John. Well, of course, it depends on the political positioning they've done. Are they protectorates of Dagestan? In which case I might not want to kick off that war until I've got into the Middle East... I mean, the Russian war will start sooner rather than we, sooner rather than later, because once we so we can take Esfahan and break into the um, eastern front of the Ottomans. The Marathas are going to Maratha, but they should be suffering a lot of uh, attrition, because now they they almost certainly don't have the economy to support their armies. They still own Srinagar, which we definitely want to take, and we want to mass recruit Gurkhas. Alright, and it's the Ottoman in turn. So, as is tradition, I'll bring you guys back when things start moving. So, see you in a second, everyone. And we're already back. That was, that was really, really quite quick. Okay. Enemy raid at the plantations. Right, that's okay. It's, a, it's more like... Well, I think that's a beautiful position to be in. Because I think apart from you, there are no Maratha armies behind the front line to worry about. That is superb. Okay, so you're getting... Marlon Rose is getting cavalry. Go get into Nagpur. So Lloyd Carter needs a gun team. So you're going to wait there. Everybody else... Okay, everybody else is going to make all speed towards these uh, bottlenecks. You're actually waiting on a unit. Yeah, this gun team, they can give chase. Actually, first of all, so pressure's doing the first steamship. We should probably focus on the, uh, the build order first, just to make sure we don't run out of anything. Or to make sure that we don't um, miss anything. So if we rebuild this, I mean, happiness building is the short-term ideal solution, but I think we want to go for 
church school for the longer term fix. I mean, worst comes to the worst down the line. From here, we can... Actually, we can't. Uh, may want... No, not horse grenade guards. A stack of... Well, not a stack. One turn's worth of light dragoons to ride south. Okay. So at Nice... Okay. At nice recruit sloop. Heavy ca uh, cavalry unit. Yes, they do want a cavalry unit. So let's Forward. free up a yes, free up unit of infantry. Good. Okay. You may end up guarding here. First of all, construction. E plantation in Malwa. Good. Even though the better roads will help the Mughals move around, because we don't have any rear echelon armies to worry about, that's actually okay. Cloth mill. More church schools, because almost all of the world we conquer now will be a, a different religion to ours. So we want to make sure that ours becomes the prominent militia. No, uh, militia. Uh, <laughs> religion. Staff College, Commercial, Maybe Upgrade you at Antwerp. Cool, that's all the construction done. Workers on strike in Bavaria. Yes, they are. Yes. You're going to cover this strait toward northern Italy. Okay, let's put Elroy and Mallory into Bavaria just to prevent any rebellion. This force can move up. But yeah, we can definitely get Vienna and Prague under siege this turn. Look at all of these armies that are sat there chomping at the bit. First of all, make sure we don't forget. Okay, so this force under Edgar Bevins. You may... Uh, you have to take position here in Casabranca. I have to finally deal with that Austrian fleet I've been so nicely ignoring. Because this army, this is going to be an army of flow ready to attack the Knights of St. John, who are allies with the Italian states. So when we kick that off, actually Naples is also an ally with the Italian states. So we might actually kick all this off in one go. Potentially. Fleet arrives. Another army. Jude... Under the command of Jude Henry, Gareth Knight. So let's bring you into... Agadir. Ready and waiting. Got a minefield we can upgrade. Units recruited, great. Hanover's on strike, no it is not. They'll soon come to terms with us because we are good Prussian folk just like them. You're going to defend this bridge. You're going to defend Forward. this bridge. Okay, before we go too mad, focus on focus on India for now, because we've got lots of things we can do in India. Our attacks, our offensives have done really quite well. So let's keep upgrading the economy. Chanda, I mean, I don't, I don't mind not maximizing our. Actually, you can stand to not be garrisoned. Okay, actually, Eugene can be. Converted by a priest, Bhopal. Let's get a craft workshop. Upgrade the theatre as well. Why the hell not? Okay, this is a stupendous effort that's been made here. So lots of these armies at the back. Just give them orders to advance up to the right up to the front line because they'll be at, they'll be fully replenished by then. Just give them orders just to keep moving up as quickly as possible to the front because things will be dealt with before they get there just give them roughly one order each to advance to each choke point you're waiting on reinforcements but you can stay get this this agent to advance up to Esfahan
push up towards actually can you get to the you can nearly get to the choke point you can push up to the north you can attack Srinagar. We probably will we will want to fight we'll also want to fight the attack on Lahore but let's just make sure there's nothing we've completely forgotten about we might want to do a infrastructure check just to make sure that nobody's uh, we want to focus on India first my friend Ah, Naroon. Okay, well first, let's attack Lahore, because this is the centre of Punjab power. So by capturing this, it will destroy their faction. They've got a really good army in here. Lots of Sikh musketeers and some Sikh warriors. This is really nice. Too bad it will not be enough. If we take this region, it will... Yeah, that will destroy the Punjab faction. Then we'll attack Srinagar to the north to take out another Mughal city. Then we will advance northwest from uh, our northern border towards a couple of Maratha stacks that are currently sat um, just on the wrong side of the river. Then once we take Lahore, we're probably going to, well, we will want to destroy the university. We will want to get rid of any unrest to allow us to advance as quickly as possible. So my guns, we want to op we're going to open up a few breaches along the front. My howitzers are just going to quick climb as usual, although we're probably going to want to focus. If we can hit the center, that's great, but if we can't, we'll probably want to focus on um, the Sikh warriors first and foremost. Get all of my cavalry set up. Great make a lot of breaches once we can hit the center superb so we definitely want to do that i wouldn't be surprised if lots of their musketeer units are actually in here no their um, melee units are in actually it looks like it's all their camels it's a lot of enemy artillery actually to deal with the front line Maybe we might be better served going for this section right here. Took out one of our trailing teams, but the gun is still okay. Taking out one of my Howard servants. Okay, you know what? We might have to actually all focus our efforts on one so then my, my what's good to know is these these artillery crews fire seem to fire at will and attack the center yeah there's the sea warriors i think the volume of artillery fire is sufficiently high that we do want to so you're still attacking the center so no i want you to go after this area right here Let's make sure we make our breaches. Otherwise, we could be in quite a bit of a sticky position. Some of my... Um, well, it's not like going after somewhere else. Maybe I, retar maybe I targeted them poorly. Either way, they are firing. Okay, my photo is aiming for this section. My howitzer is aiming for that section. Okay. Oh, we killed their enemy. They killed the general with an errant musket ball. And a cannonball, sorry. So, what's going to happen is that once we make our breach... There we go. So, my gunners can then focus on engaging other sections of the wall. One howitzer unit is going to focus on clearing out the centre. One howitzer unit is going to focus on... Attacking some of these enemy units that are attempting to defend the breach. Where are they? How? Where are their mortars? Mortars. Two guns. Eight crew left. So my might actually 
focus on trying to hit them with traditional... We might try and focus all of them on traditional mortar fire. Here will be an experiment. If I stop fire, halt the fire of my guns and then click fire at will... Yes, they will engage the center. So let's do that. I'll try to knock out their... Um, the line straight through the center. Exceptional hits. Bodyguards upset. Where are their mortars? Do they lose more crews? It looks like my howitzer is actually bombarding the breach. So let's. If my foot artillery can keep attacking the center, then I'm going to let them do that. More to. Oh, they've only got one gun left. Right, that's what we're off. That's acceptable. Attack here to try damage that section of the wall. You should be okay. Yeah, these guys aren't going to... You're not going to be able to fire and kill these guys by shooting them in the back. They all die just to artillery fire anyway. The mortars are advancing their guns up. Actually, get all my artillery. In this section, I thought we might be able to get them. You caught onto that though. Redirect your fire. I don't even want to try and force them off the wall before the my infantry get into range. Some shots are missing. No one ever hit the armory yet. Bajir infantry, Bajir infantry. So, okay, right. One of these howitzers has to keep working his way through the enemy. <laughs> Big blocks of units. Yeah, if we dismantle the section of the wall, it should help that. You... You're getting some good hits on... Secondary hits on the Seek Musketeers behind. Once they start to... I mean, on the left, we can... We can... We can uh, provoke bad enemy behaviours on the left, okay. So on this side we can say right. Form a, form a killing zone. Yeah, there we go. So they are actually already doing what we... I didn't want, they're doing exactly what I didn't want to happen. Mortars are opening up. Let's fall back. We need to focus on... I think my... You guys are both... To do. 
artillery open fire on them. Okay, the, this infantry advance up. Because I think if we, yeah, if we knock a hole in this section of the wall, they'll redeploy. They'll not necessarily redeploy. They'll do something else. They'll abandon their position on the wall and decide to do something else. They'll end up probably coming off the wall and trying to defend the bridge. One more hit. Okay, in that case, my howitzers are going to go back to doing other things. I want my foot artillery to not. Let's get one gun, halt and fire at will, and one gun to continue shooting, make the breach. destroyed mostly not on that section of the wall okay, so I think you men can push up and attack the wall force the AI Ooh, lots of It must be these guys trying to work their way around, causing the problem. Okay, my this unit of one howitzer unit just keep attacking, focusing on attacking the breach, just to keep, keep clearing them out. One unit back here, just keep attacking in the centre. See, musketeers are responding to our assault. hope is we can get up in enough mass Argier infantry we should be okay against more good hits in the center but you guys aren't actually getting off the wall you're not actually crewing the gun but we want to try and knock another hole in it just to try and prevent them from being able to do that The only thing I don't want is, is this going to be a bit awkward? Whoever it is that wanted to run down here, stop. No, position line. I don't, I don't want them to position off the wall. But what they're doing right now makes them almost destined to... Okay, so I think on this right flank, mercenaries and continental marines are going to be able to push forward. But then you guys are able to do this. If we get one howitzer working each breach, actually, you don't need to work that breach. You keep working the centre. Yeah, I think we, we have to attack that unit of infantry there. Are there any Bargier infantry? We should be okay. I mean, it's going to take a long time, still. Teak Musketeers is holding this, are you holding the centre. Wood artillery, ceasefire. Continental marines. Okay, here we go. How it's is working one breach, how it's to work another breach, because now the enemy cavalry is coming. Ooh, they just probably winning. If you have to call in additional reinforcements, we shall. We even might not actually push up anymore. Get my skirmishes up to help plug holes in our... Yeah, 
the Marines might actually keep going. They may actually go forward. So you're firing into the Lance, Citadel Lance, and they're attacking our infantry. Camels are also having a go. Bajir Lancers are coming out and having a go. They are wavering. The Bajir infantry were shaking, shaken there for a minute. If we can cut through enough of them, well, get my mercenaries to run through the combat. Not ideal, but run through. There we go. Now we're gunning them down. Okay, so who have we got here? Infantry guards, sea warriors. This is a bit of a Hail Mary. If you could run through. No. Don't run back that way. I mean, you're wavering. This could well not work. If you could. I just needed enough men to try and get through. To capture the gate. These men attack the Bajir infantry. See, they immediately, because they're still in combat, they want to come back and fight. Wow, they broke. Okay, you guys get around to that side and then run, then get over here. No. No Marines. Don't be lured in by the Sikh Musketeers. I think now is going to be the time. Continental Marines get in here, everybody else fire and blow off. My long riflemen scale the wall here. Just opening up on them in this. Okay, right. First of all, infantry halt, round shot, seat warriors in the center, artillery fire, cease fire. Yeah, those mission line are probably not going to win unless you guys get involved. Warriors. My cavalry is going to end up coming all the way back around to the front. Unless. Send the bowmen on a flanking run. Let you men get up on the wall. Although they are. They might get trapped up there, but that's okay. Lure them up. Uh -oh. Get off the wall. <laughs> Fighting withdrawal. You men get in. Oh no, enemy resistance has crumbled. Excellent. But that was a really, really doggy battle as well. Man, that did not. That was very, very sloppy. Still. City was taken. Let's destroy the university. Let's repair the government buildings. We're likely to have to hold this, hold on to this territory for a little while, um, because it's a, it was the capital of a, of a separate, you know, small faction. So they are, they're devils for that kind of thing. Although getting rid of the university will really help. Let's just check. Savoy. Was on a strike, but they, they could they would probably still rebel. Bavaria's okay. Hanover's okay. Half blocked. Don't mind. Although we've still got that to do. Okay, right. Nathaniel Green. Attack Srinagar and take the Kashmir Kingdom that will provide us with many, many glorious Gurkhas. In fact, so much so that. Uh, so many of our, a lot of, as many armies as possible are going to have to make space. 
They're going to make space for a Gurkha battalion, or battalion, Gurkha company for each army. Uh, 300. 300 is kind of a bit of a mixed bag, really. Too big to be a company, too small to be a battalion. My artillery is going to open fire however they see fit, because the enemy do have a reasonable amount of artillery. So, well, my foot artillery in particular can engage whatever they like. My howitzers will, will also be able to do the same. We do have to keep an eye on them a little bit more. Okay, two units of elite plus a skirmisher on one flank. Two elites and skirmishers on another. Those on the left. The cavalry will advance, but it will be it will be a highly um, su supporting aim. Not going to be the battle winners of the past, right? Quite a lot more populous. My artillery is going to specifically open up against their um, their artillery, which is fine. Force on that side. So on this flank, I mean they are. They are using chemical warfare. How could they? I would never use such a thing. He says, switching to quick lime. My artillery is opening up again. There we go. By attacking ground, we try and kill some of the kill some of the, the crews. It looks like well, they're going to throw troops in front of the guns to slow us down somewhat. It's not going to provide a strategic win. Rinse and repeat. Make sure we spread my artillery fire about. Get my regulars in. There we go. They see my cavalry and they think, ooh. The enemy center is collapsing. Good. Push forward to get within musket range. Treating on mass, so much so. Artillery, ceasefire. Infantry, give chase with the bayonet. Well, that infantry's getting annihilated. Push forward. My howitzer, engage. By a lock on populous. Most of my two infantry units here are just charging the guns, seeing them off. They're not going to let them get away. Well, that's just a mortar garrison unit. You guys both attack the fire lock on populous here. Two of you from both directions should be able to do a good thing. Charge forward. The enemy general is dead. Send the grenadiers in. Gorillas uh, don't do anything.
push forward and attack the file of Mount Populous. Make sure my Light Dragoons are fire above off. Nice. Cut through them. coming back but how about them this is the engagement they didn't want to have now they're going to have it As the Americans charge in they're already wavering and they weren't even in combat <laughs> <laughs> Quick climb, keep an eye on it. That's painful. Very painful. So many dead troops. You men have earned a serious period of rest and replenishment. Oh dear, oh dear. This episode is sloppy, very sloppy. Still, a win is a win. Trinigar is captured. We're not going to destroy the government building immediately unless it prevents us from... No, we can recruit Gurkhas. We officially have no money. Ready for... Let's bring you up. Oh. See, so we need to keep upgrading our economy. We are. Oh. War is an expensive endeavour. Actually, are my ministers any good? Just to double check. Everyone's at least four star, that's okay. Plus one treasury, plus one treasury, plus one navy, plus one management, plus one management, minus one management. Okay, head of government's okay for you. Tactician, plus one army, superb. Plus one manager, plus one navy. You're great for the navy. Justice minister is... He's bad for the treasury, so he's going to stay there. Everyone's just not that bad, although we're about to have an election. Um... Okay, in which case, because we don't have any money to take advantage of our operation. Prepare we're going to put these territories under siege and force the enemy to try and defend them. Ready and waiting for orders. So, so many territories we can take, but we're going to role play as being not skint, but any further we are going to pretend as though we have very limited funds. Which we are. Which we do. But we're going to be... Yeah, because ultimately there are there, so many cities we can take right now. But we don't have the firepower, the financial firepower to do it. Actually, if we take Lviv, yeah, then we're really starting to sneak, snake around the enemy. Hungary is just holding... This star fort's holding. So this really impacts enemy movement on the eastern front here. But yeah, we can't. Yeah, this, we just don't have the money to do anything after that. Uh, especially as our um, <laughs> our naval forces continue to grow at a significant pace. I think we might be we might be at a stage where we can afford to not recruit many more armies. Uh, do I want to intercept? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Every little helps. Yeah? Come at me, Austria. So they're being intercepted by my army that's raiding to the west that doesn't have any movement points anyway. So that should be okay. Rascals, do you want to live forever? Why? Kinda. Kinda. I mean, maybe not. Living to see the future in its entirety could be pretty scary and not, not particularly awesome, but... The immediate future. Yes, that's what we can say. That's what I want to see. So... Our basic formation is going to be 
do need some infantry. Actually, first of all, let's move everybody out of the way. Basic formation is going to be two units of infantry. A gun team slap bang in the middle to deal with what's ahead of us. Plus two units of infantry. We're going to put one gun up on this high ground here. Just to kind of act as a bit of fire support. And then we're going to put together... some infantry like this on either flank. Their job is to kind of deploy as necessary. Got another gun team. They're going to be waiting in reserve. Put some cavalry on either flank. Rockets. Do what you want. They love rockets. They're really good fun. Oh, it says... Up as you like. General stay in the trees. So where are the enemy? Coming in on the left. Not that it's a particularly scary army that we're up against. Just sometimes, sometimes it's kind of like, you know what, where, where are the enemy going to come in from? And then deploying accordingly. The enemy general has been killed with the initial salvo from our artillery, which is pretty awesome. Rockets away. Deploy. Horse artillery might try, might be picking us off, but the counter battery is going to do some work here. Yeah, this unit can buy a quick can drop quick climbers shells as well. So attack the light dragoons. You thread you've had to thread your way through the artillery teams to get down to your battery position to prevent any loss from friendly fire. You can shrapnel shot these rogues. Good kills there. My rockets are going to continuously bombard that uh, horse artillery unit. Two runs away. But really, this unit up here at the back should continue to focus on counter battery. Draw my cuirassier back behind the light cavalry sharpshooters. Quick climbs come in. They're going to get a volley from the sharpshooters, plus maybe from the uh, the legion. Yeah, they are shattered. Okay, now it's to start to dismantle their infantry formations. Light Dragoons, General's Bodyguard. Rockets away. Artillery's gonna be chase gonna be directing itself against my artillery, I suspect. Yeah, suicide charging. Broken, alright. Engage the Grenadier Guards. Charge forward. Oh, thank you for dismounting Light Dragoons. That's what you really want. Yeah, it's charging on foot to save your general. General's dead. Engage the Light Dragoons. Cease fire. Press the air, attack the light dragoons. Mm. 
rocket fire has, got, has dealt with the horse artillery. These light dragoons have dismounted. That's nice of them. Right, pivot my light infantry. Canister shot. Okay, let's try and annihilate this unit of dragoons. There's only eight of them. Same with you on this flank. Swiss Mountain Jaeger up high. Yeah, they're coming in to try to stop us. Come on. Four, three. What are you guys? What are you doing? Down to the last six. Counting on my line to be okay in the center, which it is. Dragoon left. Kill him. Let's bring my light cavalry up here. I've got two units of Swiss of mounted troops that will be able to cause problems. So you guys. Mop up these skirmishers. The irregulars are up front engaging us because they can. Get the shrapnel shot flying. Make sure my sharpshooters are fire it will off. Get my general around here. Skirmish is going to just smash into those mercenaries. Back them up with a unit of US Marines. Ceasefire. The light foot. Start to try and catch up some of these units routing from the center. General's bodyguard charge into the lead, the um, irregulars that are trying to attack us. Swiss pikemen might make it up to our lines, but there's not that many of them. Mercenaries are being chased down. for the Grenadier Guards, principally. You kill the last of these sharpshooters. So you go after... So you go after this unit of Marines. Let's get my Marines out of that combat there. You kill the Grenadier Guards, you kill the Marines. General's bodyguard is going to chase down these irregulars. Will attempt to. There we go. Kill them. Knock out a few decent enemy units here. Nine mercenaries. Task them to kill this unit of Grenadier Guards because they look like they might be able to escape. Cease fire the rocket artillery. So you go for the pikemen because you guys can go for the Grenadier Guards. You've killed the Marines. Excellent. 
mean, this, this Grenade Guard unit might be able to escape, but we'll still do a lot of good damage to it. Okay, you guys go after... Go after that unit of the Militia. Yeah, the Grenadiers escaped. Well, some of the Grenadiers escaped. They took a real kicking. So their guerrilla mercenaries were not not if I do if we can prioritize those aren't the sort of units that we go after great so then my general beware of the stakes oh, these guys have spread out really really well Good, now you go for the mercenaries. One mercenary left. Here. Kill those guys. Okay, now you're in amongst them. Good. Okay, kill that okay, now so we got time. At full speed. Everybody. So we don't have to worry about the stakes now because they are running. They are the right direction for us. But the battle is over anyway, and the enemy has been annihilated. Remain two and a half thousand men, roughly deployed. They have one hundred and forty left. So that's lots of the reinforcements they had around Vienna, defeated. Looks like they might be kind of giving up the Western Front. Interesting. Oh, my guys must not have any movement left. Uh, we're going to auto that because everybody's in quite... We are mighty <laughs> We've already done a lot of damage here. We can afford to... Um, just sit it here in and do the do the garrison game for a while in northern Italy. We've got more than enough to be getting on with. Don't worry, Naples. You have quite a reasonable navy, but uh, it's not going to be enough. When the time comes, we will be able to land an army on your shores. Yeah, it looks like, the, looks like for the most part, the Marathas are falling back. That's part of the reason why we desperately wanted to get to the um, crossing points quickly to prevent any uh, inflow of Maratha troops. So the Ottomans are doing what the Ottomans do in slowing the game down. So, see you in a second, everyone. And we are back. Okay, enemy raid. Cuss on something rather farmland. Not that we care. More raiding in Italy. Again, we don't really mind. Ready for so, these armies... You get to the bridge. Get up to the north. Build a church school. Population's fairly okay with us. Up here at Srinagar. We build all the Gurkhas we can. That's what we want. Okay, construction. Kutak. 10,000 for a Kutak. It's a, it's a relatively small territory. We're doing great. Here's your rat, let's get to College of Divinity. Iron Master's work, this works in France. You're the guys of no home. But sure, and they still don't like us, but if we exempt them from tax, they do like us. And they'll only be exempt from tax for a short period. Murphy, Cecil, replenish. 
Okay, so we can get a sloop over to Marseille. Get Marseille upgrading. Okay, again, let's just kind of kind of focus on India, really, because this is where we've got where we've made the biggest breakthroughs here. Push forward up right into the enemy's faces. Now you're going to wait for your gun team. We can leave Ahmedabad. We can. Good. Push forward. You were a bit of a garrison force. Keith Cooper. Planishing and moving up. Can you leave a diaper? You can. Get that crossing point. We can upgrade some of this stuff in Lahore. Uh, we'll exempt them from tax for now. Upgrade some of these buildings in India. Yeah. We can sue we should, oh, 87,000. So our income actually is going down as a result of all of our recruiting. So I think we're going to hold Ready issue a stop order. order on recruitment because uh, we do not need it. So we don't own two trade zones there. We can claim another one here. So let's. I mean, I've, I've, I've completely disregarded that sort of activity. You guys get to South Africa. South Africa. South America. And we can, pro we can stand to send a replacement trade fleet down there. Shift order. We can claim... Aye, aye, sir. Potentially claim Let's two. So let's break Don't your fleet away. up way, into two Let's chunks. Wait. Then bring, you, bring another fleet down to there. Again, right now, a lot of these <laughs> got a good chunk of our forces aren't actually earning any money. So again, yeah, you're all the Marathas are at war on one trade point. Don't really care about that. Lots of neutral, and again, there's an Austrian fleet there. We, if you if you were really bothered, that's the sort of thing you would take care of. That's Naples owns that one. Okay. Then let's bring this army down to London because they are there. We go. So you guys recruit one more unit of decent infantry. You need a fusiliers, and they are done. Okay. We need to start. We do need to start positioning for the war against Prussia. Can you leave Stuttgart? No, not yet. They're still very unhappy. You're just you're clinging on to Bavaria. That's okay. I mean, if we can take well, if we take a, take a bunch of these cities, that will really help. So we just demand the surrender of Lviv because they have no no proper garrison. Let's get rid of the college. You got. A lot of happiness buildings. They must be suffering from a lot of unrest. Yeah, once these cities are taken, these armies are going to hold on to them because we're going to, at some point, we're going to start fighting against Russia and this will become a new front line. But I think we probably want to try and gobble up Russia before we do that. Who are allied with Russia, so. And Russia hates us as well. Yeah, I want some of these armies to be ready to immediately launch. Launch So, like, Cornelius Dyer here is in a position to start attacking across land, across um, the peninsula towards Copenhagen. Up here. Troops. 
forward. Okay, two units. Let's take one infantry unit and one dragoon and unit. So then you're ready to attack. If the Prussians commit their navy to try and defeat us, this will work. You're a bit of a at a bit of a loose end, I admit. I mean, you might just take the high ground and see if you can intercept anybody because we need to start knocking off some of these Austrian territories. So take Edward Arger. He's going to attack Prague, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of America. Cheers, everyone.